That is one big boom sale. It was a big one, that is for sure. I'm up in Manchester for the weekend seeing my mum and uh, I've decided to come down to Bolton um, car boot sale. Um, uh, yeah, I probably should have got here for six. What a nightmare. It is so busy. It's unbelievable. The queues to get in just to, to park up. Next time, six o'clock. <laughs> What have you got in your loot crates? Um, I'm asking a average, but I'll do all four for 15. Four for 15. Yeah. All sealed as well. Mate. All Never sealed up. Open. How much are your loose pops? Uh, three quid each. Right it's worth like, it's not worth 10, 15 quid I think online. Roughly. Yeah. So, the only one that's damaged is that one is missing his glasses. Yeah, yeah, it's a common thing with that one because yeah, I've had one of those. It's just very frail that. Like. Yeah. I'll take those four, mate. Sorry, mate. I'll take those four. No problem. Have you got that one, mate? Bonk as well. Twenty-five. Look really effective in the kitchen. What have you got on that? Two six on that one. Can I have a look at it. Cheers. Thank you. It is large, but it's but it's not a large. I think it's a, more of a medium. I think. But let's say they're meant to be a fitted jacket anyway. Then I'll take that, mate. Yeah. Thank you. How about your t-shirt, mate? How much is your um, super dry jacket you got up there? You take four quid on your shirt? Yeah, I can do. I don't realise until you drive up it. Oh, no, oh. I actually is. How much is your shirt? A pound, that one. I'll take that. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Cheers. How much your doll? Um, ten pounds. Ten pounds.
Yeah. Yeah. So that would be five, yeah. ten, and then that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Any more of these? Ice um adventure ice king. time. I don't think he's only that one ice king. Um uh, yeah. Only the one ice king I think. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, yeah, just the one, yeah. Right. I don't know there's a miniature one, but I don't, I don't think. Oh, well, it's more kind of adventure time if you yeah, had any adventure, adventure time. Yeah. Well, you're lucky it's just the one. <laughs> I'll just take him. Yeah, right, no problem. Thank you. I'll just take the level off. Oh, yeah, then, go um, for it. Yeah. Where is it? Just press his belly. How much is it? It's a fiver. Just <laughs> turned him off. Oh, yeah. Save the batteries. Yeah. Oh, he's neat, isn't he? I'll take him, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> How much did you hope? Eight. Eight. Yeah. Coming out and going back. Again. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. Way. And one has a spur. How much is it? Two pounds. Two pounds. Yeah. Thank you very much. Deserve your money today standing in this. <laughs> you know, he's okay now. I'll take him. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> you got on your bike? <laughs> uh, three quid for shoes. What you got on your hat? Fiver. Sell sharks, that one. About, about 19 quid. Yeah. Find the sell sharks, man, and you're in business. <laughs> That's it, innit? <laughs> yeah, go on, I'll have five tickets. Help yourself out of the way. Five or zero on the end. Five or zero is okay. And it's for me and me. Okay. Let's have a look. That's a note.
No, no good. So I'll chuck it in that one. No, thank you. Cheers. No problem. Thank you. What have you got in that one? Ten. Ten. Twenty-five, look. I can do three, a box of three for twenty-five. Thirty on the Jordan. <laughs> what about your pops, your normal pops today? Yeah, fiver. Fiver. How much are these, please, mate? 30. How much is he? <laughs> what size is your super drive, please? Uh, it just says medium, I think. Medium. Yeah, medium. How much is it? It's five. Oh. Right. How much is it? Oh, it's too I'll take that one, thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is your belt buckle. Right, John, what have you got on your Elvis buckle? Five litres. Five for that one and that one, the buckle one. Oh, there. That, one. that one's eight quid, that oh, one's a five. Two for ten off. I did both for ten off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just repeating what you five shout. Lot, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll do you eight for the two. Yeah, go on. Yeah? Yeah. You can come on with me. Yeah. <laughs> How much is your Mickey and Mini, please? Um, I wanted five for that. Five. Yeah. Oh, well, Do any um, chips or anything on it? Or, no, it's or, never or, been, okay. never been out. No. I'll take it for a fiver. With it. Oh, lovely. Thanks very much. Nice one. Yeah, I'll take it. How much is that one, please? I'll take that one. one big boot sale. I'm done here for today. It was a big one, that is for sure. Well, I'm done at uh, Bolton Stadium car boot sale and wow, it was a big one for sure freezing cold when i got here it was zero degrees zero degrees and um very very frosty the first real frost i think of this winter bring on the summer that's what i say anyway i did pick up some reasonable stuff uh considering i was pretty much probably an hour and a half after probably the first people that get here at 6 a.m i was i wasn't in there till half past seven by the time i finished queuing so next time, note to self, I hate that saying, get here earlier. Well, I'm back all the way over in North Wales, back home. And this is my haul from Bolton Car Boots, which I'm going to go through right now.
So this is everything. I'm going to start over here because this guy, um, I'm going to forget his name if I leave it too long. It's Roronoa Zorro. I probably butchered that. Roronoa Zorro. Zorro. I can't say it. Now, listen, I think this is possibly an unofficial figure because it comes in two pieces. His body splits in the middle. Um, I think the official ones are one-piece figures. Um, now, the problem with this is, and I didn't notice it when I bought it, was that two of the sword uh, cases, things, two of the swords have broken off. Um, the chap gave me these, and I thought he was giving me, like, extra accessories. I've got a spare head as well. Uh, but actually, that's broken the uh, the swords. So I've got a decision to make whether, firstly, whether I even try and sell this, or secondly, whether I bother with it being broken, uh, because I think it is unofficial. There's no particular markings on it, I don't think. So uh, I paid £2 for it, so it's not a massive loss. Um, I just thought it was a nice anime figure. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Let's move over here or come... No, what? let's just go to these. Uh Manchester 2002. This is vintage now, guys. Vintage. Manchester. The Manchester Commonwealth Games are now considered vintage. Uh, I picked up this uh, quite a nice tie and tie pin and cufflink set. Um, and that was, I think it was £3. Comes with this little boxy thing. Um, I can't actually find the same exact one on eBay at the moment, so I'm going to have to do a bit of a deeper dive on it, but I'm going to estimate £20 on it. I don't think it's going to be like worth loads of money. I've got two Elvis um, belt belt buckles. This one, well, these cost me £8 for the pair, by the way, £8 for two. This one has got quite a nice buckle on the front. Um, these with the kind of photographic sort of images on them are actually worth a bit if you google those or you look on ebay the belt actually looks a bit worse for wear but i'll keep it together i think um i'll have a look at the belt but actually i think that's worth about 40 believe it or not i think that's about 40 pound and this one um just the buckle worth about 20 pound maybe so that's not too bad is it Let's just move those there. Okay, let's move now over here. So I got from one stall all these um, Disney, what do you call them, like desserts? Puddings, pudding plushes, dessert plushes. Blueberry pie, so that's one. Strawberries and cream, two. These are all new with tags. Um, another strawberries and cream, that's three. What's this one? Banana split, four. And is this like mint choc chip or something? Yes, it is. Mint choc chip, five. I got those five for £12. And um, it looks like some of those are worth sort of 15 to 20 each. So that's not bad at all. Uh, also, on the plush theme, I got this um, Adventure Time plush. I think it was £3.50. Um, the guy obviously deals in plushes, had a lot of plushes. So I was kind of looking at his store because his prices were, were reasonable. And I thought this was okay for an adventure time for 350. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the value of this one. Um, but I shall look it up afterwards. It should be worth more than 350. I would have thought adventure time, pretty popular. Um, right. Let's have a look at this because this thing actually is worth a lot more potentially than what I thought it was at the time. I paid £5 for this figurine. It's a Mickey Mini uh, wedding figurine. It comes boxed with its original Lennox box and it's got its lifetime breakage replacement program. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Nothing's been filled in though, so... Hmm, I wonder if I could claim on that, if there's any breakage on it. And um, a certificate, which it's called Minnie's Dream Wedding. Now, on eBay, these in boxed, brand new condition with certificate, etc., you're looking at 80 plus for these. I did not expect that. I bought this for £5, thinking it's definitely got some value. 
um, especially with it new in box. But I was not expecting that kind of price. These were going for £80 plus international shipping of £30, £40. So, you know, we could be looking at sort of 70 to 90 I would suggest I'm going to list for here in the UK. So that was a nice pickup. Nice. Um, what else did we get? Let's go over to Chewbacca. I'll turn him on. And he does speak and stuff. Or oh, he makes noises. And his head moves and stuff. Look at that. They've left the two ninety nine sticker on. And I think I paid like four or five pounds for that. I think it might have been four pound. Let's turn it off. Um, possibly four pound for that. Uh so it was a bit of a fail actually um i think it's only worth about 15. so i've done those i've got clothing left to do let's do these bits and pieces um rv walker i've actually got this in my collection i think uh walking dead bobblehead three pound uh worth about 15 ish but it could be a whatnot um perfect for whatnot um, a nice Joker Santa um, Funko. And I'm not sure of the value of this. And also, um, this one, is it? Uh, it's like Inside Out and also Toy Story kind of mashup. Uh, but I don't know the value of those. But I think these were like 50p or a pound each. So I was definitely picking those up. Uh, always useful for for sort of whatnot and stuff. And also, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. These are Loot Crate, brand new in box, um, like figurine sets. Uh, that is from Westworld. I did start watching that, but never really finished. Couldn't get into it. And they kind of, they build into, um, they're like little sets. You build them into little sort of diorama figurine things. We've got one from Alita. That's actually what it'll look like when it comes out and it's been put together. Uh, Christmas, I'm donated. Oh, I'm going to have to get that off, aren't I? Uh, another Alita Battle Angel. And, um, oh, I've had one of these before. It's a Captain Marvel 3D comic stand. It's a shame they don't put a picture on the box of what it comes out like because that makes it difficult. Oh, a bit of damage on the bottom there. Um... Looks like that one's actually been opened, so I might get away with opening that one and seeing. That was £15 for the four, so that's not too bad, but I'll I'll just debate whether to put these on eBay or just to whack them onto whatnot. Um the problem when you put them on whatnot and stuff is that um with them being sealed up, I'll have to open them to set them up to see what they look like to show people. So yeah, because not everyone knows how these loot crate things look. Um that's that. Right, we're on to clothing. I got this real... Now, this regatta jacket is really nice. It's like an indie style, and I need to try this on myself. It's a size large. It's like an indie style jacket, and it could be a keeper for me. Um, we'll see. I'm going to try that on. I think it was like £6 or something, or £5. Six or £5. Um, maybe sort of in the £30 range on that one. We've got this fat face gilet. Uh, what size are we on here? It's a UK 12. Fat face, always worth picking up. Um, this was only £2. I mean, you can't not pick it up for £2. It's got like the fleecy inside. I mean, it's got to be 30, hasn't it? Oh, let me just do these bits. This set, uh, obviously, I picked up that for the business. I, you know, occasionally have to glue things. And... Uh, that was like three pound for that gorilla super glue. But these, these are mine. Um, I use these myself. I've used them for years. The Nivea's face washes and moisturizer. I just this is I picked these up. That was one pound. They're about three fifty in the shop. But these were good. These were fifty p each. So I just bought them all because this will like last me for months and months and months. Here, these are like four pound each in the shops, and I paid fifty p each. So. I got 4, 8, 12, 16 pound. There's about 20 pounds worth of stuff there for three quid. So that's how you save money on your uh, monthly shop because they'd be, get, be being 
picked up in Asda or Home Bargains or something. Anyway, Squid Games t-shirt, one pound. It's a size XL. Just picked it up because it's Squid Games and I like Squid Games. Um, probably not worth loads. Um, you know, £12, something like that. And also we've got a super dry Kaguli type thing, Kaguli jacket. I think this was a fiver. Um, I sold one of these early in the year. I remember having almost the same one, if not the same. It's a size medium. Um, you know, it's probably sort of 20, 25 pound. G Star um, jacket. Um, now, what I need to do is figure out if this is like women's or men's because the sizing on, on it is is a bit is a bit sus. Uh, it's a double XL, which makes me think that this is a women's G Star jacket. Um, it appears to be genuine. Um, it kind of checks out with other G Star stuff that I've had. It's just the sizing. It's definitely not a double XL for a man, so it's got to be a woman's. Uh, what did I pay for that? Was it a fiver? Yeah, something like that. Fiver. And um, I would estimate sort of 35 quid, something like that. And is this the last item? This is the last thing. Um, it's a Harley Davidson t-shirt. It cost me £4. But the thing I liked about this, the thing I liked about it is being a Mancunian myself, even though I don't live there anymore, um, it is... Harley Davidson, Manchester, England. I like that. And the date on that, Slipper Shot, Ems Dent, 2016. Um, I just liked it. Uh, phew, what price would I put on it? I don't know, £20, £25. I'll try it, see what happens. I forgot to show you this, um, a lessy sort of quarter zip pullover. Um... It is a size large. Quite nice, really, to be honest with you. It was just £2, so definitely could not pass that up. That's really nice. Like a cotton sort of thing going on. Apres ski. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Value-wise, I'm just thinking around the £30 mark on that. That's everything that I picked up at Bolton Car Boot Sale. It's been absolutely years since I went to Bolton. And um, next time I will get there earlier. But considering... I was there, I didn't get on foot in the boot sale looking for bargains until half past seven. I think I did all right there. Obviously, I probably missed a lot of bangers that, you know, lots of other resellers have picked up because it was really busy, heavy with resellers, heavy with buyers. So turning up on the uh, on the boot sale at 7.30 with a hell of a lot of other people, you know, limits your chances. Next time I'm getting there earlier, learn from my mistakes but i'm still very very happy with what i picked up there so thank you for watching i'll bang a couple of videos here that i think you may be interested in it could be a load of tosh but stick with the channel really appreciate it go and click a couple of these go and binge and work your way through the channel some great content of course and not biased see you later